Just as the menorah was to be fashioned out of hammered work by hand, the Bible was fashioned by the hand of man under the inspiration of the Spirit. It is one unified whole. It wasn't cast as if by the work of a single process, nor was it soldered together as of many pieces. Instead, it was made as a unified whole from one circle of gold. Just as the wheel of the Bible forms a perfect circle which matches the form and structure of the menorah, the wisdom of the Lord through the Spirit of God and through the hand of man dances, if you will, twirling through the entire process from the beginning to the end. The Bible is a single, unified, and marvelous whole. The menorah is specifically called the lamp of God in 1 Samuel chapter 3. Likewise, the word of God is also called a lamp in scripture. In Psalm 119, it says this, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Christ is the word of God and the Holy Spirit is what illuminates the word of God. Thus, both are intricately tied up in the symbolism of the menorah. The 22 floral arrangements on the menorah first symbolize the Hebrew Aleph Bet. They are the basis for the structure of the entire Bible. That they are Almonds signifies the entire period of the Word of God going forth throughout human history. The almond being the first of the blossoms in the season and of the last to ripen signifies the entire duration of man's time on earth. The almond also signifies the honor and the wisdom which is tied up in the giving of the Word and that the Lord is watching over His Word. He is watching to perform His Word and He is watching man's adherence to His Word throughout all ages. 